Yo, what up everybody? This was sent to me today by Larry Schwabel. It was a picture of the Constitution, so I began reading. Sui Juris, I invoke... This is good stuff, people. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'll scroll all the way up. I invoke, petition, claim, and exercise my right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the matter before the court. Case law by the Supreme Court. I, I'm, one, I'm assuming you could use this defense in all... Crimes where there's no victim or damages to anybody. So case law, Miller versus U.S. The claim and exercise of an of a un, if it, <clears throat> the claim and exercise of a constitutional right cannot thus be converted into a crime. You know, kind of like traveling. Miranda versus Arizona. I think this is where your Miranda rights come in. They were named after him, and I believe Miranda was actually killed by somebody who used his Miranda rights to get away with it. I believe. Don't quote me. Their rights are secured by the Constitution are involved. They can be no rule making or legislation which would abrogate them. Hale versus Henkel. There is a clear distinction between an individual and a corporation. The individual may stand upon his constitutional rights as a citizen. He is entitled to carry on his private business in his own way. He owes nothing to the public so long as he does not trespass upon their rights. Upon the other, upon the other hand... The corporation is a creature of the state. Its powers are limited by law. And th that's very important because they're trying to make you into a corporation. You are the John Felix Corporation or whatever your name is. And you represent that corporation. And that's why they pull all this corporate laws on you like victimless crime, speeding, lack of address, bicycle citations. Because they're saying your corporation, your John Felix Corporation, violated these corporate rules. You know, ordinances and codes. That's like that's like a policy at the job you work at. That's not actual law. That's nonsense. Buyers versus the United States, 273 U.S. 28. Night. It is the duty of the courts to be watchful for the constitutional rights of citizens and against any stealthy encroachment thereon. Marbury versus Madison. This one's very important. A legislative act contrary to the Constitution is not law. An act of the legislator repugnant to the Constitution is void. The problem is, while I notice this, and you might notice this, and I'm reading it right to you, the judges, courts, and police completely ignore this. All right, I'm just going to scroll here so you can read the rest on your own. You could pause it or whatever, so I'm not interrupting. And So I'll just read the head. Norton versus Shelby. Mugler versus Kansas. I wonder if you could use this in any hearing. Ex parte Young. The Eleventh Amendment, Staub versus Baxley, United States versus Jackson, Collins versus Virginia, and Scherer versus Cullen, and a picture of the most beautiful document ever made in the world, the Constitution of the United States. Something police, judges, and politicians absolutely, positively can't stand because they're all tyrants. So, Larry Schwabel, thanks, this is good stuff. I did a nice long scroll shot my phone has scroll shot does your phone have scroll shot anyway find me on uh patreon and ebay and etsy and all that good stuff and buy a ring or something anyway thanks larry peace tranquility